Hey Aries, so I'm going to do a reading. We're going to see what comes out for you guys at this time, okay? Keep in mind while you're listening to the message that this is general, so if you're hearing certain messages that don't apply or resonate to your situation, don't force it. Listen to your intuition, okay? Thank you guys for your love and your support on the channel. I really do appreciate you all. We're going to go ahead and get started and see what your message is at this time, okay? I'm going to pull um, from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. So let's go ahead and get started, all right? All right, Holy Spirit, angel and ancestors, thank you so much for your love, your guidance, your divine protection. Allow me to give the collective a clear and accurate reading. All right, Spirit, the month of May. What wisdom do you have for the collective? The month of May. I do readings like this for myself, and I don't know like why I don't just do the same readings I do for myself on the channel because they really do help. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, we're gonna see like what the the guidance is, the wisdom you need to know for this month. Okay. All right, spirit for the collective, the wisdom. What wisdom do you have for the collective this month? Okay. So we got soulmates number 41 all right soulmates so this month collective i feel like spirit wants you to know like you're going to be able to connect to people that are like you okay people that understand you people that want to you know be a real friend um a real, a real family member to you like i'm seeing this energy of unity all right let's see peace okay some of you could be um this could also i'm seeing like in the workplace you're seeing that like you're connecting to people that are like you okay it just kind of feels like the places that you go people are smiling all right people want to see you more people want to love on you more i'm seeing that spirit tell me about this uh, message tell me more about this message for the collective soulmates this could also, you know, definitely be with a relationship. Some of you are, you know, you could be meeting somebody special this month, all right, romantically. Okay, tell me more, spirit, soulmates. Let's see. Yeah, the King of Cups came out, all right? So there's this lovey-dovey energy in the air for sure. Somebody around you, okay, or you're putting out this energy and it's definitely being received. So the energy you're putting out, people are feeling it and vice versa. Like you're feeling the energy that people um, are putting out towards you. I feel like you have tunnel vision, all right? Like you know where your group is. You know um, who your real friends are. You know what family member you can deal with. Like I just see that you see your group, you know, like you see your tribe. So that's good. Like this is really positive. And I feel like this is working in your um yeah to your advantage some of you had to um recently walk away i'm seeing this here at the bottom of the deck walk away from certain groups like fake groups fake family members all right um yeah that was a lot tell me more spirit <laughs> i feel like you feel much better yeah so the ten of wands came out with the king of wands here Ooh, okay, so for some of you, this, okay, so we're talking about like an overall message for the month. So you are on the minds and hearts of others. That's what I'm seeing this month, all right? Specifically, I have water energy and then I have fire energy. This could be two separate people. Okay, you could be leaving one, you could be leaving a fire sign, okay, and connecting to a water sign. All right, just kind of take that how it fits, but I feel like you know exactly who's for you and what's for you, and that's really working to your advantage. That's what Spirit is saying. Um, so keep listening to your intuition, all right? Keep listening to your, your guts. Go where your heart takes you is what I'm picking up on. Yeah, go where the energy is flowing. I see the six of swords that came out with the queen of rods all right so for some of you yeah okay i'm hearing like this person had their time all right this group of people they had their time with you it was fun while it lasted but it's time to move on to bigger and better things okay however that works for you 
whatever decisions that you're making at this time that feel good, Spirit is saying, keep doing that, basically. All right? That's the wisdom. Like, keep listening to your intuition. Go where people know your name or people respect you. Go to places where the energy is. Have you ever just kind of walked into a place and you just knew the energy was off? Like, that's, that's your intuition letting you know, like, this is not your area. This is not for you. But then have you ever walked into a place where it just feels like home? That's what I'm picking up on. Like you're connecting with people that really do um, feel like family. All right. So this this is working for you. Okay. So I want to move on. Um, I want to move on to finances. I want to see what comes up with career and finances. Spirit, tell me about that. So we have soulmates for the overall general message. Okay, Spirit, tell me about finances and career. Finances and career. Yeah, tell me about that, Spirit. Finances and career. For some of you, there may be some type of fight over you, okay? I feel like people, <laughs> everybody wants your attention. I'm seeing that here. Okay, so eggs came out, starting over, saving up resources, nest egg. And for the career part of this card, it has like two little sections at the bottom. It says healthcare, new opportunities, and insurance. So new opportunities, insurance, all right? Some of you, okay, could be stepping into a new experience that's very loving, that's full of um, peace, harmony. I'm seeing friendship here. This new thing that you're doing, it looks good on you. I, I feel like, yeah, two of cups is here. All right, so I'm, I'm picking up this energy where you're going to know what's for you and what's not for you. It's going to be very easy to identify that it's gonna feel right you know like it's gonna you're gonna feel it in your your heart all right so if there are any opportunities that come your way and they feel off they feel off um if anything feels like it doesn't sit well with you then you're gonna know intuitively that that's not for you all right, you may have people come towards you that want to offer you, you know, new types of opportunities to make money. You're going to be able to pick what's best for you because you've learned how to do that. You've learned how to really listen to your intuition, all right? I feel like you may have walked away from um, anything that was confusing to you in the past. And that's really benefited you at this time. You're going to receive a lot of offers. I'm seeing that. Just overall in life, I'm seeing like new people come into your life, new connections, new um, opportunities to make money. And of course, like everything is not going to be, every opportunity won't be like the best, okay? But you're going to be able to pick through them. That's what I'm seeing. You know, you're going to pick the best of the best. All right, Spirit, tell me more about this eggs card. Starting over, saving up resources nest egg some of you could be coming into um yeah this new opportunity i'm seeing it lead to abundance that's why it's going to be so important for you this month to follow your intuition like follow your heart what feels right because that's where the money is <laughs> that's what's leading you to this money i'm seeing that yeah i see yeah don't even question it. if it just feels right do it that's what spirit is saying listen to your gut listen to your intuition and I feel like this month, you're going to start to see, like, powerful changes. Like, oh, okay, so I can really work my intuition. I can trust, you know, the messages that Spirit is showing me at this time. Some of you are going to, like, come across this opportunity to make money. And it's just, you're going to be able to, like, tap into a new type of abundance, financial abundance, okay? So really listen to your instincts. That's what's going to take you to this, um this new opportunity tell me about that spirit thank you yeah we have the ace of rods here i feel like you're gonna be so excited for this because whatever this new thing is that you're starting or you're getting into like you know that this is gonna work because you can again like you can feel it in your soul like you know that this is for you you're meant to do this you're meant to start this and you're right your intuition is absolutely right. Tell me more about that spirit. Ace of Rods. And the Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. Really listen to your intuition this month. 
okay? Whatever spirit has been guiding you to do or start or apply for, step into, do it. Because it's going to, it's going to elevate your finances, all right? Some of you, um, it's just time. It's, that's just what it is. It's just, it's time for you to experience this. That's what spirit wants you to know. It's time for you to accept these offers that feel good. I'm seeing that. Don't fight too much with it. Anything else, spirit, you have? Okay, let's pull from this deck. Is there anything else? Career and finances. Can I have one card? Career and finances. One card, spirit. Thank you. Okay, so we got do the work. All right? This one says do the work. I'm going to read it to you. It says it's not enough to dream or pray. You also um, got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take okay so spirit is saying don't just think about it don't just you know dream about it take the steps that spirit is guiding you to take okay really listen to your instincts if spirit has been telling you to start something or do something now that's your intuition guiding you letting you know like okay step into this step into this position because um it's available to you all right this abundance this prosperity these things that you're asking spirit for, they are available to you right now, but you have to, you know, take action, okay? Um, it says, consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden, okay? So that's the abundance message with this message for you, okay? I see you, like, really stepping into your power, though, okay? Empress Energy, some of you are doing something creatively, Okay, this is bringing in so much success. All right, so really trust yourself. Be confident in yourself. I see, um, I'm seeing confidence here already with this Queen of Rods, King and Queen of Rods. All right, you blocked out certain people, places, and things that really don't serve you. So I feel like now, you know, it's time for you to like really step into this position. I feel like you've overcame a big cycle or. A big lesson in your life recently um you know and i just feel like it's just it's time for you to really just accept these blessings that spirit has for you okay it's, it's time okay i'm also saying things are going to start to really pick up okay the more that you follow your intuition follow your heart follow what feels right like things are going to start to improve greatly i'm seeing that Okay, I want to step into um, love. So we're going to get into love. All right, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and focus on love right now. All right. We're going to see what love messages come out. I was already seeing love in the beginning of this message for you. I'm seeing like a lot of loving opportunities come your way with your finances, um, friendships, relationships here, okay? Keep listening to your instincts, your intuition. Spirit, tell me um, what messages do you have for the collective surrounding love? So for those that are interested in romance, let's see what comes out. For love, Holy Spirit, what do we have for the collective May? 2023 what love messages do you have for the collective thank you spirit we have apology all right so somebody may want to apologize to you or you may want to want to apologize to somebody here but it says you can expect the apology you want to hear and at the bottom i see awakening someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation all right I see abundance kind of part of the deck abundance is here okay so this is a part of your abundance this is a part of um yeah that loving energy that i was picking up on the beginning of this reading soulmate somebody that you're connected to somebody that you have a strong connection with this person wants to apologize all right okay yeah two of cups this is a soulmate so I understand. That's what I'm picking up on. I understand now. Now I understand. There's some type of spiritual transformation here that this person recently went through, okay, or has been going through for, you know, a while, possibly. All right, but I feel like they want to reach out. They want to let you know, like, you know what? My bad. <laughs> My bad. I didn't mean it. Like, I was kind of going through some things. 
They may not say it like that, but that's kind of the energy of this apology. Spirit, tell me more about this apology. What else does the collective need to see about this apology? Let's see. Apology, Holy Spirit. Tell me about this for the collective May 2023. This apology. Thank you. Yeah, it's an apology. I do feel like this is a step in the right direction. If you're open to it you know and i feel like you are open to it for sure we have the queen of cups here at the bottom and in the beginning of the reading the king of cups came out okay you guys are not speaking right now i see that here you guys are not facing each other um but i feel like that's going to change all right i feel like somebody wants to say something to break the ice i see the empress here Sun card is here. The energy feels very inviting. It feels very positive. It feels sincere. And that's what I like to see in a reading, especially if there's an apology on the table. Like, don't apologize if you don't mean it, because that's just a waste of breath. Don't, don't do that. But I'm picking up on this energy where this person is sincere. All right? I feel like they're the reason why they're apologizing is because they've done some work. Okay? They have you know, taking time to really see certain things that they may have needed to see. I feel like you both have grown a lot, but this apology is going to, um, it does feel like it's going to smooth out any, I'm hearing like irritations or any type of like wrinkles that you two have. All right, Spirit, tell me about this page of cups. Some of you could be connecting to a water sign. Okay, or you could be a water sign, you could be a cancer. Spirit, tell me about this apology. What else does the collective need to know about this apology? May 2023. I'm also seeing, if this is not romantic, this could be from a child. I'm seeing that as well. This could also be from someone that you have children with. Yeah, Six of Pentacles is here. And the page of rise i feel like this apology um that this person is giving you is coming from a place of like can we fix this like i'm now ready okay maybe in the past this person was a little immature but i'm seeing here with the six of pentacles like i'm ready to put in the work that it takes to have a relationship all right this person loves you i see the lover's card here i feel like um and you know this I'm also seeing this Five of Swords here. Five of Swords. Justice. Okay, Five of Swords, Justice. I'm seeing Gemini, Libra energy here. I feel like you guys both, at times, you know, um, can do or say things that hurt the other person. Maybe knowingly or unknowingly. But I feel like this is a new energy that's coming through. Like, I want to leave that past energy in the past, and I want to focus on the future between us. I feel like this person that's coming towards you, they're very mature. I feel like they've been through some life lessons, like you, okay? I feel like um, this is a, a, a mature apology. So this is good to see, all right? Okay, so there anything else you need the collective to know about this apology, about this person coming towards them? Again, you know, listen to your intuition. I feel like, you know, you're you really, you're allowing your instincts to guide you in life, in all areas of your life. And that's going to be um, so beneficial for you. All right. So whatever you, decisions you have to make with this person, see the two of swords here. Whatever decisions you have to make, you're going to be able to make the right ones if you listen to your heart, if you listen to your intuition. All right. I see the three of pentacles that wants to come out, two of swords. So maybe you're, you know, you're a little conflicted about whether or not to work things out with this person or if you can trust this person. That could be, a, um, yeah, I see the empress here. Some of you, you know, there's a lot of background information that may be coming out towards you and now you're not really sure if you want this. Okay, um, I don't know really what, really what that is. Um... I feel like whatever this person may be saying to you, don't you don't want it to affect with what you have going on. You have 
You have some good stuff going on. I feel like you don't want this. I feel like you don't want any type of interference at all. Okay, so maybe you're not sure if you should trust what this person is saying. I'm picking up on a trust issue here. Seven of Swords. I don't know what they're telling you, but you're like, I don't know if I want this. Listen to your intuition because you're going to be able to make the best decision for you. Okay, <laughs> that's funny. All right, Collective, I'm going to leave this reading here. I really do hope it was helpful. Let me know how you like this style of reading. Um, I hope you guys, you know, enjoy it. I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Bye.